so before uh, starting a new project with a twenty uh, first uh, new stuff and beyond, uh, we have to find uh, the perfect way to um, recruit uh, the new stuff according to this uh, research and uh, the result of this uh, project. We have uh, very good and uh, interesting and important results uh, in this project. Now we have to use it. It is very important to use every uh, new uh, information we discover within a project because this uh, way um, we, uh, we pay for, uh, for this project, we pay for this work. And uh, it is important to use every uh, new, new idea, to use every information, to use everything. Because for the next project, we will be more attentive to what uh, we are looking for, what we discover. We have to be attentive to our resources and uh, not waste time and money for nothing. So uh, this is my opinion. Uh, 62, 62 years ago, I left home to train to be a priest, you know? It didn't succeed, but then that's the story of my life. I don't succeed at very many things. From the advisory board, the proof is in the eating. You've produced a milestone, all of you, and a milestone that I think will go way beyond Europe. It'll dig into the parts of Europe that we all know need to have quality prison staff. For my sins, I work in the Caribbean as well. The Caribbean's like Africa and its prisons. They're still using a prison that was built in 1757. And the conditions haven't changed. What you have done is to provide people who don't have the resources, who don't have the staff, You've provided them with a beacon, something to aim for, something that prison staff can use with their managers. So that agenda from the advisory board, you've achieved more, I think, than we could ever have expected. And I think I've learned more than I've contributed. So I think people have been asking people to, to clap. You should, don't be, be too loud, you should clap yourself for that work that you've done. But it doesn't stop here. Everyone said that. Don't let the dust settle on this. Keep moving this forward. With or without the support of Europe, keep moving it forward. But this morning for me was all about respect and recognition. That's missing. I used to go and lecture to the students bigger auditoria than this. And I would say to them, your criminology students, who wants to be a prison officer? Zero. Do you know a 17-year-old, any 17-year-old at school, who's going to say, well, do you know, maybe for a couple of years I'll find a, a bit job because I really want to be a prison officer. That's the challenge. But it can be done. I worked in a prison service all those years ago in Scotland, where prison staff had to be a cutlass length away from a prisoner. Because the rules in those prisons were naval rules, and a cutlass was a distance. We've come so far. Not far enough, but I really do think you have the opportunity to take that a stage further. So respect and recognition, fight, fight, fight with politicians, with public, go out there and describe what you do. Because you know what you do? You're the most difficult social service there is. You take everyone's failures and you're asked by public and politicians to reintegrate and rehabilitate. Don't let professionals take your job. You're the professionals. Don't let psychologists come in and do the bits that they want. You're the 24-7 people. You know prisoners better. You work well with them and continue the great work you do. Thank you. My name is uh, Are Høydal. 
I have been in, in the correctional service for 37 years. Uh, and uh, during these years, I've been governor in Oslo prison and now latest in Halden prison for 14 years. And uh, when uh, Pedro sent me a messenger message <laughs> and asked me to be a part of this uh, advisory board in, the two, in 1920, 2020, <laughs> 2020, in May 2020, of course I said yes to that. Uh, and uh, I said yes because in Norway we have um, been through this, uh, this change uh, 20 years ago, uh, when I started in the business in the 80s in Norway, uh, I worked as a uh, prison officer when I studied the law, and I was, uh, I was a guard, yes, guard. And I, my, the message to me was, you shall, take, you shall take care of the security work. You shall not talk to the inmates about what, why they are in prison, what's their problem. Uh, how can we, what can we do to help you? I did, I couldn't talk to the inmates about these things in the 80s in Norway. And we had a very high reoffending rate, 70, 80 percent. We had a lot of riots, we had a lot of escapes, scandals, mis miserable correctional service. But we, we made a change in the, the 90s. We made a white paper and we make a new prison officer role. And we went all over the world to find good ideas. We went to Canada to find program, cognitive skills program. We went to Sweden to find the contact officer role. We went to England to find the dynamic security. We went to the US to find the drug addict programs. So uh, in Norway, we travel a lot around the world to find go good projects, and we implemented it to Norway. <coughs> but now people are coming to Norway <laughs> to see what we are doing, but we have steal everything from others <laughs> during these years. But um, in, the, in the 90s, we focused a lot on the prison officer role, and we changed um, the staff academy we changed the subjects that uh, the uh, that the officers should uh, learn about. So we, we made a big change in the prison officer role in the in the 80s, 90s, and um, I think uh, this project is, I think, back to what we did in the 90s when 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 I see this project, and uh, it's very important uh, for me to say. To be a prison officer is to have a dual role, dual role, security, but also be a social worker, <laughs> social worker. So uh, that's, the, that's the way in Norway, we have a dual role. We focus a lot on, of course, security work, dynamic security, but uh, also focus a lot on rehabilitation work. So um, that's my message for this project. <laughs> Stay calm, don't uh, miss the focus, uh, focus on dual role and that the prison officer can do both things, focus on security and focus on rehabilitation. That's uh, my message for you. Thank you. Thank you. Last but not least, okay, finally, um, yeah, uh, I'm very pleased to be here, proud being part of this project, which to me has uh, a very big importance. Um, especially my background is a different one. I'm not coming from uh, a prison. I have a 30 years uh, police office background, police officer's background and a lawyer. And nevertheless, I learned a lot and I can say really, uh, I'm proud to be part of this project. You can be proud of the work you've done and I hope it will be delivered to all the partners and transferred into training and uh, then coming into action. I really love to see the outcome and uh, I wish you best of luck for the future. Sorry.
So it's um, it's okay. It's a, uh, it's very good to understand that uh, you see and you foresee next steps in this project. I was uh, myself. Uh, I had the opportunity to to present the project on the last uh, ICPA annual conference, and I can confirm had uh, um, a statement, there were people in the audience coming to us and asking if we uh, think that this project is transferable for their jurisdictions and contexts. So I, I really think that uh, um, the resources, the outputs, and the, the experience that together you had so many, so many professionals getting this experience, this international experience, this experience in exchange, in knowledge sharing, in practice sharing, that it would be a big loss if the project and uh, the, 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 the achievements uh, uh, that we got stay uh, um, and close uh, as the project uh, uh, finish is, uh, is, is time of, 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 of production, let's say. Um, so uh, we still have uh, room for other people to step in, to comment, to make questions. You might. Uh, make, make, make questions to, to partners that were here. Huh? You, yeah, you want, you want to? And, and uh, we still have, uh, have this room, of course, uh, be, um, just step in and raise your hand and we will give you the, 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 the floor. Ore, are. Ore. <laughs> just one more, because uh, in, the, in Norway, it's quite popular to be a prison officer. Uh, it wasn't that in the 80s uh, and before, uh, and not even in the 90s, but uh, when we change this education for officers, and uh, we have two years education, and they can also take a bachelor degree in the third year, and it's uh, quite very popular to be a prison officer, and it's a lot of peop young people who want to be a prison officer. So um, it's very important with education. That's, uh, I think that's the most important success about uh, the Norwegian system. We have a very good education for the prison officer, and it's a very popular to be officer. So, any end? Any question? No? You want to make a question, Pedro? No. Or, uh, for lunch? <laughs> Okay, so um, it, it was, uh, you know, looking uh, for these 30 minutes would say that we understood how, uh, how was the impact on the organizations, on the institutions, on the professionals. We understood also that we are required to think and rethink this professional, not every 20 years, but with a, a, a lot more uh, frequency and also that uh, uh, the, the outputs that were achieved might be useful for uh, the organizations on, to embed in their own offer, of course, probably with some adaptation, but further beyond for other uh, people and for other jurisdictions that need and require this recognition yeah, and respect. So thank you so much for uh, accompanying us on this uh, 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 partners and advisory uh, board panels. So thank you very much to all of you. Thank you.